And on the pandemic front, the number of new COVID cases remains in steep decline. The seven-day average is now just over 175,000, down more than 78% since the Omicron peak in January. CBS's Nancy Chen reports COVID has surpassed cancer now to become the second leading cause of death in the U.S. Tonight, as cases continue to drop from the Omicron surge, the American Academy of Pediatrics reports the number of new COVID cases among children is down nearly 53% from last week. The number of cases in kids is clearly dropping quickly, just as it is in adults. Once again, pediatric cases mirror overall cases among the population. The AAP also recorded nearly 300,000 child COVID cases in the last week as parents of children under five learn they must wait even longer for them to be vaccinated. On Friday, Pfizer said it needs more time to gather trial data before seeking FDA emergency use authorization. In Washington, D.C. today, the mayor announced some businesses, including bars and restaurants, will no longer be required to check vaccine cards starting tomorrow. And the indoor mask mandate will be dialed back March 1st. But the requirements for schools and public transit remain in place. We have to be nimble um, if something should change, like it changed in December with a new, very contagious variant. In the last week, 11 states have made announcements rolling back their mask mandates. A CBS News poll shows a majority of Americans still support state mask mandates, including Lindsay, who didn't want us to use her last name. The New Yorker is immunocompromised and says it's too soon to remove mask mandates. I only go out to do mandatory things. And then with the lift of restrictions and mandates, it makes those things even more frightening um, and risky. And tonight, we are learning that just over 1,400 New York City workers were fired on Friday for failing to comply with the vaccine mandate. That's less than 1% of the city's workforce. Nora? Nancy Chen, thank you.